Out of the blue, we've got a new legendary trinket called Vision. Similar to Aurora, its precursor requires extensive gameplay. This time it involves Living World Season 4. You can unlock the first collection at any volatile vendor, just buy the Trendstone. And do it early, because if you didn't touch those maps yet, a good portion of that collection will be done along the way. Before you even begin, you will need all Season 4 episodes, and you have to complete mastery achievements in all of them. That's almost 200 achievements with various length and difficulty. So, this part will take quite some time if you didn't do them already. Besides that, you will need additional account-bound currencies from those maps. 3100 Kralkatite or 460 branded masses, 300 inscribed shards, and 100 difluoride crystals, lumps of mistonium, and mistborn modes. And on top of that, you will need Skyscale Mount. I have all the mount unlocking and farming guides on my channel. Related ones are in one playlist, a link is down below. The first collection, Awakening, has six sub-collections, one for each map. Their content is very similar, so let's cover them all at once. As usual, I've made Teco markers for all relevant tasks, and other achievements were covered already in my Season 4 packs. Just download my all-in-one pack and you are good to go. A link is down below. The first task require items what you receive from completing previously mentioned map mastery achievements. For the Visions of Dragon, you have to commune with memory fragments what are close to the waypoints described in the tooltips. They are all mid-air, so this part requires unlocked sky scale as well as finished story arcs in all those maps. The Visions of Allies are super easy. Just interact with pieces of paper near waypoints described in the tooltips. The visions of enemies wants you to kill bosses on the end of various meta events. Before you do that, you have to buy 6 memory essence encapsulators from any volatile vendor. Kill Warden Amala on the end of the Great Hall meta in the Domain of Istan. Kuda subjects at Specimen Chamber meta event in the Sunswept Isles, Troop Marshal Olori Ogon legendary bounty in the Domain of Korna, Dead Brandy Chatter in the Jahai Bluffs, Warbringer in the Nord meta in the Thunderhead Peaks, and any champion after Kralkatoric meta in the Dragonfall. The Visions of Landscapes sends you to complete the rift challenges near waypoints described in the tooltips. Skyscale is required again. You have to hover over till it explodes and creates a path of volatile orbs what you have to collect afterwards. It's a bit tricky though. After you activate it, you have to wait for this thin line to the nearest orb to appear. Or else it won't count towards the achievement. You might have to activate it multiple times. Just pick the first orb and wait if it appears. And if not, reactivate the rift. The visions of equipment requires crafting of several items from map collections. Fortunately, you don't have to make the entire collections, but it still takes a lot of currency farming besides other tradable resources. You will need 6 astral weapons from the Domain of Istan, Ormakan Bandolier from the Lasting Bonds collection in the Sunswept Isles, the Exotic Banner of the Commander from Lady Camilla's achievement in the Domain of Korna, Complete Convergence of Sorrows 1 Elegy collection in the Jahai Bluffs, Make 6 Dragonblood weapons in the Thunderhead Peaks, 
and get light, medium or a heavy set of misshot armor in the Dragon Fall. You will get one set from the map achievements for free. And the last task, the Visions of Action, involves smaller events. One of the three Champion Corps caravan escorts in the Domain of Istan, the fish catching event in the Sunswept Isles would spawn shortly after Gathering Storm Meta, Dancing with Choya in the Domain of Korna, Fake Joko event in the Jahai Bluffs, this time it doesn't require successful CCs, Zephyrite defense in the Thunderhead Peaks, and one of the three collecting events what are part of the lane metas in the Dragonfall. After all that hassle, the second collection Farsight is fast and easy. All you have to do is kneel for about 15 seconds before 20 different mastery insights in the Season 4 maps. Those in the air or underwater doesn't count. That would be precursor done. And now you just have to craft pretty standard legendary gifts and finish the trinket. The only tricky part is 100 funerary incenses for the gift of arid mastery what will require 100 trade contracts or 3 elegy mosaics per one. And you have to buy them from this generic NPC in the Tomb of the Primeval Kings in the Desert Highlands. Other vendors want only 5 trade contracts, but sell only one per day. The list of all ingredients is on the wiki, a link is down below. That's all I had for today, so if you enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe or leave a comment and stay tuned for next time.